You're very welcome back to the final part of the show. Gar Mullins is hard at work in the kitchen. So remind us what you're cooking. So I'm doing a chamula marinated prawn dish, some tiger prawns, and we're going to serve it with a beautiful little salad of baby jam, feta cheese, and some shallot. But to start with, yes. I'm going to make the chamula dressing. So chamula is basically a spice mix of herbs and spices combined. Okay, so yeah. um, I have a cocktail shaker here, just be, just a container, so Martin, or you could do this in a nutri bullet. Yeah, okay. I've like two tablespoons of water in there, and then I've got like a half a bunch of flat leaf parsley. Um, so this is the fresh part, the fresh ingredients. I've got some uh, coriander, same thing again, about a half a bunch. So um, kind of along the lines of if you think of a pesto or that type of thing, it'll kind of right. look a little bit like that. Yeah. Um, then I've got a chili and some uh, two cloves of garlic, which I've just chopped up just to make uh, life a little bit easier for my blender. Um, I need the juice of a lemon. So literally cut a lemon in half. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why he was sharpening it at the exactly. top of the show. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, what was your saying? A happy, uh, sharp knife is a happy knife. You'll actually cut yourself worse with is a blunt knife. Is that from love knife. hate or something? But yeah, that's, that's love hate. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you would with a blunt knife, you'd, you'd. Yeah, because there's a misconception when you have a blunt knife, you actually have to apply more pressure, and if it slips, then you're gonna. Cut yourself harder. And that's what I tell my commie chefs every day. Okay. Um, now, I've got two tablespoons of curry powder, which is not classical for chamula. Normally, it would be ground coriander, ground cumin, some fennel seeds. But for at home, a couple of uh, tablespoons of curry powder, because most of us have that and yeah. it has all of those things covered. And then two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Try and get the smoked paprika if you can find it, because I want that kind of smoky flavour. And then like three tablespoons of good olive oil. oil okay. okay. And then all we're going to do is blitz it up. Yeah, in so the hope that we're it doesn't not... splash back, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Especially onto your good top, Gar. Exactly. It doesn't have to be a really, really fine puree. It just needs to be blended up a little bit. And what you're left with is this beautiful marinade. Okay? Oh, I don't yeah. mind that there's a few little bits still in there. Now, if I don't use all of this, the rest of it will go into a little air toy container and I put a little bit of olive oil on the top and it stays in the fridge. Okay. okay? So, in an ideal scenario, I would have marinated these prawns yesterday, um, but I wouldn't have been able to show you that. Yeah, but you'd look, oh right, so ideally give yourself Ideally leave it overnight, or at least for a couple of hours, but I just wanted to show you, okay? Yeah. So, now pretend we're out in the garden and we're going out to the barbecue. Fabulous. So, this would be going on to a preheated barbecue, nice and hot. And then, most importantly, like when you've heard me saying this about cooking steaks, and in this instant cooking prawns, leave it alone, okay? Because we want it to caramelize a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on there, just to bring it on a little bit. And then, I'm gonna make a quick sauce. So, I'm taking a tablespoon of that marinade, and I'm putting it into some natural yogurt. So, I've just made this kind of chili tremula yeah. sauce to go nice. with it. That's simple, okay? Yeah. So, and then to serve with our prawns, I'm going to do a very simple salad. A little trick if you're cooking at home and your friend's coming over. A lot of people put the salad in the bowls, they get ready and they put it in the fridge. And the fan in the fridge will wilt the leaves. If you just dampen a little bit of kitchen paper and keep it over your leaves, it'll stay nice and crisp. And leave it on the counter? Leave it on the counter or put it in the fridge. Okay. But obviously I have to worry about the lights in here in the studio, so it's the same technique, okay? okay. So, um, I've got a little bit of fresh mint. I'm just going to tear that in. That's literally just some mint leaves. I'm not even worrying about chopping it. I'm just going to throw it in there. I've got a shallot that I've pre-peeled. Let's move this out of the way. So I like to put a little bit of raw onion or scallion or shallot or whatever. Just I think it brings nice flavour into the into a salad. Okay. Yeah. That goes in. I'm going to have a look at our prawns. So. These prawns were blue when they started. Yes. I don't know whether you can see that. They're starting to turn pink. And this is exactly, you can see that, which is brilliant. Oh, see the that caramelization? One. That's what we're trying to get here. A little and bit more oil in there. This is something you have been going on about, free, just like, don't touch your steak. Yeah, don't because this is what you're alone. trying to get here. That was, that's what kind of brings that smoky, delicious flavor that we get in restaurants and um, what I get at home. And you'll get it at home too, because the biggest mistake people make is, they turn it, they move it, they turn it, and all of that moving and turning is dropping the temperature of the pan or the barbecue, and it's not allowing it to caramelize, but the caramelization is where we get the flavor. Yeah. I'm gonna season that with a little bit of salt, tablespoon of olive oil, 
and a little bit more lemon and we're very close to plating up. The smell on that. Yeah, so if, if you weren't a fan of prawns, for example, what I would say to you is marinate some chicken or some beef or some lamb um, in this tremula marinade and follow exactly the same technique. Okay, so it works with all sorts of meats. Yeah, it does. Put in there now? I've just put some feta cheese. So what we've got in there, we've got our baby jam, that delicious sauce that we made. I'll get a little bit chefy here on you, because I know you <laughs> like that, Mirren. <laughs> put a little you smear down that. the end. Oh, and then this is this where you can copy what Gar does, but you can't really. Oh, of course you can. <laughs> so the big thing when you're, whenever you're looking at dressing leaves is leave it till the very last minute. So if you were coming to my house during the summer for a dinner party, I would have the prawns marinated before, and I'd have all these ingredients ready. I'd have my shallots sliced, my lemon cut in half, but I wouldn't dress the leaves right until we're about to eat because the lemon juice is going to wilt. Wilt it. Um, yeah, they'll wilt the, uh, the leaves on us, but we want them to be nice and crisp. Well, isn't so, it gas how like, a, a salad can be lifted by a little bit of feta cheese or something? A like little that. bit of feta, a little bit of lemon seasoning yeah. is very important. These prawns, believe it or not, are almost cooked. I'm going to finish them with a little squeeze of lemon. Oh, and a little good. bit more olive oil and a pinch of salt, and they're ready. So I promise you, if you've been to Morocco on your holidays, remember that thing that we used to all do that one time? Thing? Yep. Yep. Um, yep. This will bring you straight back there. Look at this, Gar Mullins, looks that amazing. looks absolutely So delicious. those tiger prawns, they were actually frozen. I just defrosted them and I threw them onto a couple of skewers just to make them easier to work with. It, and they um, won't. And it worked. They're cooked, Jay, at 100%. That is absolutely Delicious. It looks gorgeous. And like you said, if we can't get on a holiday, this will make you feel as if you've been away. Exactly. Yeah. The smell is brilliant. As Gar always, you, know, you know where to thank you, Gar. Thank, thank you, you so very much. People were getting in contact about their wedding dresses. Uh, Kathy, she's got her wedding dress from their wedding last Saturday. Do we have the picture of Kathy that she sent in? There's loads of messages in here. I don't know if we're going to get to them. Uh, but she's gone. There it is. She's got it hanging up. It's going to be perfect. She's not donating it. But thank you to everyone. And Leanne, like contact. so many others, has said she, she went the traditional route. She made a christening dress out of her oh, wedding lovely. dress. And that is nice. a great tradition. That is all we got time for tonight, folks. Uh, thank you to all of our guests. And of course, to Gar for the delicious dinner. Beautiful. Thank, you, thank Gar. you, Gar. We'll be back tomorrow at 6 with Jason Byrne. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you then. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.